So the interview season for this year, 2020, 2021, is going to be a very unusual one, and for obvious reasons. So I thought I'd share some tips about things that uh, will be standard, you know, regardless of the variations that may come. Things to have in mind as you go into this, again, very unusual season. First, the application process. I'm sure you're already very familiar with it by now because we're weeks away from, you know, the program starting to review the applications. But again, we'll just recap on that. In June, the season opened. On the 1st of September, applicants were able to start submitting their applications. By October 21st, which is about two weeks or so from this time, programs will be able to start looking at the application. So it's important to have that in mind. And my biggest advice on that is to have everything in before the 21st to give yourself the best chance. Now for the interview day proper. You know, there's several questions that may be asked, but then there are some standard ones that tends to be focused on you presenting yourself, talking about yourself and whether you're going to be a fit for the program or not. And there's several ways to answer these questions. The one way that I know never, ever, ever fails is you being yourself, regardless of what you think the program expects or not, because again, that's where you have the most power. When you're being yourself as to the best of your ability, you are more relaxed, you control the conversation better, and people can sense that. Again, remember, the people that are interviewing you, they see people every day, and they have a good sense of detecting, you know, an authenticity in a way, and, you know, you don't want to be seen as creating an image that's not matching with your natural self and i think it's important to have that in mind as you prepare to answer the questions on that day there'll be questions about you telling them you know why that specific uh residency uh, uh program there'll be questions about you telling them for example why internal medicine questions around you telling them about yourself your background uh questions about you telling them for example your strengths where you think you know what you add to the to the program what you're likely to add what you bring to the table um and i can't say this enough it's super 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 crucial to practice these questions beforehand get someone maybe somebody also in the same process of preparing for uh residency interviews and hear yourselves out see how you sound there's so many different things for example people having word fillers because they're not able to organize their thoughts the more practice you do the better your communication you know the smoother your communication so you want to practice as much as possible there are these questions that's going to be standard regardless and questions that you can always weave into the answers regardless of what they're asking you specifically you should practice those and make sure that you're as smooth as possible while you're answering them again remember while you're answering them try as much as possible to be yourself that's where you know your power comes you're able to control the conversation better it's important to note that what most residency programs, whether it's the program director that's interviewing you or the senior residents or whoever is interviewing you or the other attendants on the, on the program, the most important thing they want is somebody they can work with, somebody that can be part of a team, somebody that can be a productive member of a team. And that's really what you want to present yourself as. I, I think everybody has the ability to do so. So you want to make sure that you answer answer you know fills that fills that question in their minds they're trying to get a sense of whether you're able to you know exist in a team with them and again you're doing that while you're being yourself and if you're fit for the program you're fit for the program but remember they don't necessarily want the most complex the most you know innovative whoever blah 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 nah people just want somebody they can work with somebody that can withstand handle the complexities of the life in that residency program and you really want to make sure you're presenting that as you answer the questions so finally because it's most likely going to be virtual interviews 
this season it's important to have your gears ready you don't necessarily have to buy anything fancy just make sure you test the gears out ahead of time so you're familiar with you know how the whole process is likely going to go again pick somebody who's likely in the same process as you or if you don't want anybody like that pick a member of the family and practice with them um it's either going to be via skype or zoom these are the common you know uh, uh what's it called now online web conferencing uh, uh, apps out there you you want to familiarize yourself with these tools practice 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 i can't tell you enough practice on zoom practice on skype and if there are any other ones practice on the common ones mostly um there's some things to consider for example your the the picture quality has to be as good as you can make it because if you're clear people can see you it just makes the conversation go better because they can see your facial expressions properly. They can get a sense of whether they're, you know, your your match or your your fit for their program or whatever. So you want to give yourself the best chance in that regard. Your phone always works. What I'd advise in addition to your phone, the camera on your phone is good lighting. Daylight is always the best. If you have access to daylight in your apartment or wherever it is you are, make sure you're reflecting that. Um, if you don't, you know, turn on the lights in the wherever it is you are as bright as possible uh, not obnoxiously bright but as bright as possible you know to give your your uh, your image quality the best chance um, sometimes you might if you feel like you can't really achieve that there's some ring lights that people buy you can attach it to the top of your phone um, that also works um, I personally have this Logitech camera that I use for my teaching online. This is a very good camera. It, it gives very good picture quality. But I think on the la on the overall phones are able to do that as well. It's important that you have a stand if you're going to be using your phone. A stand makes the image stable and it's easier to project. I mean, carry the conversation through that way. Your ear uh, piece or uh, ear pods or whatever. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to wear a headset, you know, something like this that doesn't all come in the way of your face or the ear, the airpods, whichever brand you have, should work, really. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, um, the internet quality, you have to try it ahead of time. If you don't have the best internet wherever it is that you are, find wherever it is you're going to have the best internet because if that conversation breaks in the middle it just doesn't go well so you want to practice that make sure you're giving yourself the best chance with the tech the gear stuff i wish you all the best i, I everything's going to go well you're doing everything right even starting from watching this video and everything else that you're doing just keep pushing as hard as you can getting ready practicing 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 and i wish you guys all the best it's going to all work out i'll see you guys in the next video bye